hello, hello to all of my cancers and happy first day of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes, happy first day of spring to all of my cancers. We're going to get right into your general reading. Happy Sunday. Hopefully you all are having a great day today. I know that you are because that is the intention you set, right? Get up every day and set those intentions, right? Get away, get all that negative energy out of your space, out of your mental space, out of your, out of the way people around you, all of that cancers. Let's get right into your general reading. Please only take what resonates with you. This is for my cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Uh-huh. Here we go. Cancers. Alrighty. Cancers, cancers, cancers. All right. So listen, uh, like I said, happy spring. Somebody is ready to spring forward. This is really nice. You all could be, because we're still very much full moon energy, full moon and Virgo energy, you all could still be feeling very vulnerable and just your your the intensity of your intuition is so heightened right now. Again, because you have the backing of the moon. We know that the moon is your ruling planet. We know that the moon is not a planet. It's a luminary. Uh, but nevertheless, it is right now you all may be feeling it the most, right? Here we have the, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot card, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man. Yes, somebody may have marriage on the brain, right? This is your card, the Chariot card, right? But this is what I want you all to do, um, Cancers, because again, you all are truly sweethearts. You all are empathic. You all are intuitive. You all are tenacious, very kind. You all are very mothering, nurturing energy. I'm talking to men and women. Cancers, very nurturing energies, right? So you could have marriage on the brain, you know, and, but remember embracing all sides of yourselves, even the times where you get moody or you may start feeling negative. You're like, okay, instead of me coming off as that to other people, I'm going to start listening to my intuition. I'm a very powerful sign. So I'm going to start listening to my intuition. If I start feeling moody or I feel like my mood is changing, it must be somebody around me. It must be something around me that's changing my mood. My intuition is like those, like the crab with those antennas picking up on energy like and so you're going to use what was perceived to be something bad or negative about cancer to your advantage cancer that's how you coming through in springtime this time right moving forward into this new cycle and this is how people are going to see you as the sweetheart that you really really are you are somebody's knight in shining armor and you can be a man or woman doesn't matter but you are somebody's dream person like you're that person for them because you pick up on energy very well you are a money magnet you are called the money sign for a reason everything is attracted to you people just want to be in your presence cancer so now it's time to get it together it's time to really really get it together and be on fire like you are we have the the um the knight of wands and the queen of wands somebody is getting up see how this person is beating on the drum that's one method of getting rid of negative energy right burning sage is another one um, and make sure you have your make sure you have your rose quartz and your amethyst nearby because that rose quartz is going to be for you to forgive people, forgive yourselves, so you can move forward. Also, attracting love in your life if that's what you want, cancers. That's so that's what I'm seeing. And then the amethyst is going to allow you to see things from a God level of clarity, like very, very clear, like this and this crystal ball right here, this right here, that clarity. And we have other stones, and that'll be up on the knowledge channel very, very soon. Um, of what stones resonate with your, your, all of the chakras actually. But again, I see somebody on fire feeling happy, magnetic, free. You could have Leo Aries or Sagittarius in your charter. You could be around a high vibrating Leo Aries or Sagittarius. That's really just kind of sort of getting you kind of hype. Like, you know, okay, I'm starting to believe in this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of believing in this, this, oh, and this right here is attached to the planet Neptune, which is, um, Pisces, um, one of Pisces ruling planets. So somebody is really starting a dream again like but, but it's all because you're you're embracing all sides of yourselves cancer again happy springtime right <laughs> happy sunday you're starting to use what was perceived weaknesses as a strength for you okay so instead of you just accepting people like oh i don't like cancers cancers are too moody they're negative they're clingy they're this that and the other when you start feeling those feelings because you're the i feel sign then it's time for you to stop and say hold on hold on i'm about to go into a danger zone Something about this energy, something about something about this energy is triggering something in me. I need to pay attention to it, right? I need to pay attention to it. I don't want to go back down this. I don't want to have to learn the same lessons I had to learn in the past. And if you're not interested in marriage, 
if you're not interested in marriage, this could be marriage in a romantic sense, and it could be marriage also in a um, business, a partnership, a business partnership. If I start feeling like, okay, I need this person too much, and I can't do anything without this person, okay, it's time to pull back because you're now setting yourself up for people taking advantage of you, whether it's a romantic relationship or a business marriage or business partnership or whatever. You don't want people to feel like they're your, they're, they are your guide, right? Yes. All right. Somebody has really, like I said, somebody is feeling real kind of vulnerable right now just because of all that you may have gone through while, while you were married to somebody. You could just be feeling like, ah, oh, but it's going to take some patience and some time, right? For you to get back to this place of just feeling, um, feeling this is with the, the number 10 right here. Number 10 means instant manifestation. You can instantly manifest your own internal peace. This is the man or woman in you. And this is the little boy, a little girl inside of you. So again, this is where, you know, whether I'm with or without, with, I'm with a person or not with that person, guess what? I'm going to make sure I am whole and I'm going to make sure because if you have kids, let's say you have kids or you have, you know, your community leader or you're out there active or whatever doing things, people are picking up on your energy as well, cancer. And they don't want to feel like, okay, well, cancer was nice today, but today they're moody and just low vibrating. Like what is, I don't know what mood they're in, Right. Again, you want to really be check in with yourself, set those intentions when you get up. But here we go. I see you instantly manifesting, you know, harmony and peace within yourselves, right? Not only that, because your intuition is so height, heightened right now, you could have known that the person that you were married to or the person that you were with is a liar, someone who was holding on to secrets, somebody who was up to something. But guess what? That's also going to show you the reason why you need to sever ties with them, because I don't want to be around somebody who is going to cause me to be triggered and cause me to be moody and negative and low vibrating with people that I love and care about. Certainly not my children, not other loved ones that I care about. So yes, I need to sever ties with that. Sever ties with that all together so I can get back to, because it causes feelings of hostility. Here we have the five of swords. In the past, I would have allowed the, it to cause me to be like this, a headache, frustrated, all of that, but not anymore. It's springtime. I'm ready to get out there. I'm ready to meet new people. I'm ready to, you know, meet my soul tribes. I'm ready for a fresh new, we have almost 9 billion people on the planet. You all know that, right? So yes. So whoever you were with in the past, who caused all kinds of drama, who was holding on to all kinds of secrets and all of that stuff, you want to get as far away from that, emo from them and the emotion that is, that's triggered that they trigger within you. You want to get as far away from that as possible. Yes. Yes. So that you can welcome in this financial independence so that you can welcome in this, the right person in your space, right? You, it's time to make room for the right person in your life. You, so you can welcome in that sweetheart because again, that's the energy you're giving off that you're not moody, that you're not clingy, that you're not negative or low vibrating cancer, right? You're about to change the game of what people think about cancers overall. So when you tell them that you're a cancer, they're not going to be like, oh God, the last cancer that I dated was really moody. They seemed nice one day. The next day they were this way. They were crabby, snapping at people. Again, because you're dealing with the internal changes. You're dealing with this right here, getting to the root, mending your own broken heart. Yeah, you're getting to the root of this. So you're getting up off of that couch. You're getting out of the house. You're meeting people. You're going to the store. You're not just having groceries delivered to you. You're getting out of the house amongst people, right? So that you can start to test out those those antennas, right? <laughs> so whatever energy you're picking up, you're like, okay, you, this is, this is how sensitive you all are to cancers. And I want, I don't want you all to miss this. You're so sensitive right now because of this full moon energy is that even when you eat certain foods, you're going to recognize, Hmm, this thing is giving me nightmares. Or this is kind of like somebody's literally having nightmares because they're eating, eating something that they haven't eaten in a long time. And that is boom is all triggering something in your brain is telling you, no, nah, that's not good. You need to stay as far away from that as possible. There's a reason why you stop eating this kind of food. There's a reason why you stop going to this kind of restaurant. There's a reason why you stop talking to certain people. And, it's, and that, those things are being triggered in your spirit. Again, this, this make room for it so you can make room for your financial independence. I see somebody making some trips to, to travel and I see you getting near a body of water. Here we have the King of Cups. 
This person could have amethyst or some kind of crystals or diamonds or something around their neck again because they resonate with the crown chakra, right? So you're near a body of water and again, you're drinking more water because you poured out a lot in those tears and frustration right here. You poured out a lot of water. So I see somebody keeping water near them, like not even drinking any other kind of beverages except water just to replenish that your skin is looking better. You know, you're feeling a lot better. You're you're detoxing your entire spirit. You're getting all those negative foods out of your spirit. All of that. Somebody is, again, ready to spring forward. I love, love, love this for you, Cancer. This is very, very, very nice. You are taking your power back unapologetically. I love it. Especially out of coming out of a relationship. Like I said, you could have been married to somebody. Or even you may have saw that person as marriage material at one point, And it just caused you. It was so much hostility. There was so many secrets secrets and lies and heartbreak in that relationship, you just literally gave away all your power to that person. But now it's time to reclaim your power. It's time to reclaim your power and get back out there and win. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing in your cards. Let's see what this, these Oracle cards have to say. These are the Moonology Oracle cards, just in case somebody wants to know. But yeah, here we have, it's time to take action. That's right. That fire in you. It's time to get that blowtorch out. It's time to get that blowtorch out, burn that bridge for good so that you can move on. Create space for new people in your life so that so that if you happen to come in contact with them again, you're not triggered in the same way that you were in the past. You're just like, you know what, whether they've changed or not, I think that's great for them. But there's too many people out here in the world for me to meet. This is where you're, this is where... Like I said, you're learning how to take your power back and mend your own broken heart. Let's see what we have here. You were made for immortality. That's right. You want to be remembered as a person who was a high vibrating cancer. This is not a person who's faking that, yeah, my heart was broken. I'm saying you get, get, you're going to give yourself some time to grieve. But when it gets to a point where it's like, okay, I'm constantly thinking about this person. I'm like a prisoner in my own home. I can't go anywhere because I'm constantly thinking about them. What if I run into them? What if I run into somebody who knows them? All of this other stuff, right? I will write down five things I want my life to be remembered for. That's right. Exactly. You want to be remembered as a high vibrating um, um, cancer. And on the days where you feel like, you know, you you feeling a little crabby, you're like you have no problem telling people, hey, you know what? This is my day for me. This is my quality time for myself. I'm going to you because you're learning how to create boundaries. You're not coming off as fake and phony and moody and one day you're this way, the next day you're that way. You can't control your emotions. Yes, you can. You're highly intuitive. You're starting to listen to, like I said, you're starting to take control, right? Learning how to you when to use this sword. In other words, the first time you lie to me, I don't care how little the lie is, I'm going to hold you accountable for it. The first time, and if I see a pattern of behavior, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut you off. I don't care how hard I have to cry. I don't care what the situation is. If we've had sex, whatever, it doesn't matter what the situation is. I am not moving forward with you. Because I see there's a pattern here and whether there's a mental illness issue or what, whatever the issue is, I need to go into protection mode. Like a crab, you know, goes in, retracts, you know, I need to go into protection mode. I'm not going to snap at you. I'm not going off on you. I just, I need to protect myself, right? So here we go. Look for fairies. Somebody is going to start believing in the impossible. What you thought was impossible before cancer is not going to be impossible for you. This, this go around It's just not this is what I have for you, Cancers. I am so happy for you all. Like I said, somebody is going to be planning a trip somewhere overseas. And I know I have subscribers all over the world. So wherever overseas is to you, somebody is going to be plan planning a trip away from their their country or away from their continent going somewhere else really enjoying themselves like really really getting out there enjoying themselves and not just sitting on the couch waiting for you know people to come and it can be scary for somebody especially you need to get away so that just just in case you have that fear of saying what if I bump into them or what if I run into them at the grocery store what if I see them on the train or what if I see them x y and z you need to plan a trip to get away so that you can get away and meet some new people, make some new connections, you know, um, just in case you meet some people in a different land and you tell them, hey, listen, you should come visit wherever you live right now, right? And we got Airbnbs there, you know, I, me and my friends will show you a good time when you come into town and just like they're going to try to show you a good time when you come into town. 
it's, everything is not just about money. It really is about relationship and time. What are you going to do with the time that you have? But I'm saying financial independence for you because, again, you're no longer holding space for giving away your power. That's what I have for you, Cancers. I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.